We are from the domain of fire and light, of all souls and the sacred divine core essence in the Andromeda Galaxy. Dearest brothers and sisters, we are here today to share our joy about the wonderful developments on your planet Earth. Many of you who have opened their very heart enjoy the new incoming blessings from the center of your galaxy and beyond. This is the time to reconnect to your soul and to a greater degree to your divine source, with the desire to open up to truth and true spirituality. Most of you are now able to receive the increasing living divine light and information, enjoying an inner freedom you thought was not possible in the limited circumstance you are still existing. But to tell the truth, it always has been possible to realize your innate divine nature, no matter how deep and dense the darkness on earth has been. There are numerous examples in your history of people from all cultures who advanced to masters of a high degree of consciousness. Thereby they found liberation from the illusions of the artificial matrices that still hold captive the consciousness of the general human race and creates identification with lower realms and dimensions of existence. It is really all about identification. What are you identifying with? That's your destiny. Identification is the mover of all intentions. But even if you identify with the mind itself, including the higher, divinely guided mind, this again is a limitation. The identification with heart radiation, with divine love and joy, with divine consciousness, happens on the level of mere beingness, beyond the concepts of the mind, via pure feeling awareness. You do not think it, you know it in your heart being and beyond. It is the conscious light that you feel at the core of your divine being, in which your body mind and the chakras are arising. Those masters functioned always similarly to the new and higher currents of light, they helped people to awaken from their low vibrational state, identified with a rather subhuman consciousness. To be the disciple of a true master had in addition many more merits, as the masters had often great siddhas, divine special powers, able to catapult their devotees into higher states of consciousness, often also by taking on their karmas. This loving help of a true master is an important matter, because there were many people who did not grow with extra help spiritually, even though they spent many years in the master's company. With spiritually we don't mean knowledge of subtle things or higher dimensions, but the emergence of pure divine consciousness. Similarly, as the frequencies of light are rising significantly, not everybody has been awakened from their sleep because they would need the compassionate trigger of a master's help, a kind of initial boost to set their spiritual journey into motion. So the mere presence of higher light is very often not sufficient. It rather requires the intervention of divine consciousness, preferably embodied in a human form, to help the individual to step out of their long-lasting forgetfulness of divine truth while they are identified with a few pleasures and mostly pains of an existence in mainly darkness. Fortunately many of you who are embodied on earth, connected or seeking connection with spiritually evolved star civilizations, remember their heritage from higher dimensional planes, just by coming in touch with the emanations of higher light. They are the ones we are able to work with, even under most restricted circumstances. The soul itself, who remembers their divine source, is always free from lower vibrations and so-called implants that reside in the human hologram, and is able to communicate with higher divine planes, even if in a limited way. This is so because you are not your hologram, or your body, not even your spiritual bodies or your mind, not even your soul. Furthermore, the source of all things is always able to directly communicate with its own free spark in an embodied being. Even if the signs of the embodiment are not perfect and spotless, the divine itself that communicates with itself is always free and pure. This purity at the root of all who have good intentions, even of an individual vibrating with quite some density, is the space that is able to receive divine radiance and information, at least sometimes and at certain auspicious occasions, that each individual can experience in their lifetime. So the effects of the artificial matrices can always be circumvented. Darkness has never the power to extinguish the light, unless light is abandoned willfully. This demonstrates the power of intentions, that are rooted in one's predominant identification, which is based on the level of consciousness that you are living. 
You will have noticed perhaps that it is difficult to change the identification you are trapped in. So if you are smart, you don't deny the master's help. A true master is able to rise your level of self-identification by his radiant example and transmission power. He shows you your true divine self. Be assured that your present self-identification is still relatively limited. As long as you are identified with the separate self, there is always limitation. There are layers upon layers, never assume that you have already realized your highest potential. Or you will stop to grow. This limitation is a limitation of the power of the mind itself. The mind keeps you in a cocoon. But your true being is free of the cocoon. Therefore, to know yourself better, explore the deep waters of your self-identification to find out its limitation. If it is a thought about yourself, even if divinely inspired, you are still misled about your true nature. How do you know unequivocally that your self-identification is a thought? Merely locate its vibration. Where does it vibrate? Anything that is not born in the unlimited freedom of your living feeling heart of infinite love and joy and conscious light, is a thought that interferes with your true self-nature and is able even to imitate your divine self which is always present naturally prior to your body-mind with all its chakras. We love you and bless all your efforts to locate your true self via deepest feeling, so that you will identify finally with all that you are for real. Then your destiny is truly yours as you have mastered the mind from within the divine core, beyond and prior to space and time. We are the light beings from the Andromeda Galaxy.